All right, I'm pretty excited about this. It's dyno day today, finally. I have pretty much everything done. The turbo's complete, except for I have the new map sensor that's gonna go here for the 2.0 model. Then I have the adapter from Remnant in order to make the 2.0 sensor work on 3.0. So here's the adapter right here. So once we get that, go down to the dyno, install this at the actual black market racings where we're going, and then we're gonna tune it to 91, and then tune it to E85, and we'll see what the difference is finally. Got these hooked up around the knuckles. To the floor, air fuel ratio, and the exhaust pipe. will be your the pull you did when we first got here that'll be stock map sensor on 91 originally how it left our shop and then this 381 will be the most recent one on e85 um, that's with the new map sensor and a bump and boost um, so it's a 50 ish horsepower gain peak end 
but you've got some, once he clears this here, you'll see some nice power in the mid-range. <clears throat> yeah, so like right here, that's almost, that was like 60 horsepower. So here's my current setup. I have evergreens on the front and nittos on the back. I had evergreens all the way around and I think the evergreens were better than the nittos. And I even went from a 245-45 R18 to a 255-45 R18. And I have plenty of tread. These are only three and a half weeks old. And you can see how much tread I have all I do is just spin the tires. It's time to go try the Toyo R Triple Eights. These Toyo R triple eights are definitely stickier, the very aggressive tread pattern, but even then I'm still just spinning them. The turbo on this motor is crazy. Definitely taking a little bit of a learning curve to learn how to drive it. Ultimately, the only way this thing is going to perform to its true potential is to get slicks.